yeah, I, I, you know, in Western society, we're all about avoiding pain, avoiding discomfort, avoiding feeling any of that. You know, priority is safety, predictability. Uh, are we are we lost when the environment doesn't look so safe and predictable anymore, even in a slight way? Well, it may be functional to live in a reasonably safe surrounding if you can. In, even in the yoga text, they tell you to find kingdom with an honorable king and to establish your hermitage in, in a place like that. They don't tell you go to war, war scenery and do yoga and, uh, on, a, on the battlefield. So, so there's nothing wrong to try to live in a proper place. But um, uh, we must realize that it is a security coming from a situation is never really secure. It is a relative security, so, and it's, it's good enough. The problem is only when people think that relative security is a total security then they are destroyed. Then if somebody robs rob their house, so they feel that they lose everything. Then if their house burns, they lost everything. Then if their uh, family die, they lost everything. Then if their, if their car is gone, they lost everything. So they identify the security with, uh, with what they think they possess. But if you live in a functional way, you know that your house is not yours, but the place you live in, and you know your carpets are not yours, but some carpets you walk on and you know your wife is not you but somebody you live with and so on uh, then whatever happened will not affect your security it may affect your situation you may, may affect your way of life uh, but it not, doesn't affect your security because you're not looking for security in this uh, in this surrounding as such so again there's nothing wrong to have a descent and functional life but it should be re reasonably simple that means uh, it's not something to fight for it's something to to welcome if it's happening and uh, and it's not always possible uh, some people live in a war situation and they cannot have uh, what we call functional situation but even then uh, if you have an open mind uh, I remember a movie uh, done on the Commandant uh, Massoud, uh, Tajik leader of Afghanistan before he was killed. And in, in the middle of a battlefield, he was, uh, somebody was recording him and he began to recite a poem. At the time he knew some friends were killed and so on. So some people can recite a poem on the battlefield. Most people can't. Uh, so, situation of what they are. Uh, if one has some inclination for spiritual life, I think one should not uh, spend too much time trying to find the right place, the right job, the right, the right anything. Because what is right is our way of looking at things. So yes, uh, if the house doesn't leak, it's nice. If the neighborhood is not too violent, it's nice. If you have a decent job, it's nice. But for me, it's not central. So one should not spend too much energy trying to build a functional life. Maybe that's a mistake of Europe and America that people think they first they have to establish a kind of structure, material structure, and then they can deepen the spiritual life. Jean Klein always uh, all in scorn this kind of way of thinking. Uh, saying he was escaping uh, the, the call of truth. When the call of truth is there, there is no uh, no time to um, to prepare anything. You must abide to this call, and so you make your life uh, functional in a minim minimal way, so you don't spend too much energy uh, about your house, about your wife, or your husband, or your dog, or your children, or your business, or your garden. Uh, this is this is there, but uh, the central of life is not bad. So then the inquiry can begin. So again, the, to have a functional life is not nothing wrong, but it should not be that important. It should be uh, simply functional.